Uh, man of God, uh, you introduced to us uh, many men of God uh, around the globe that are used of God to do great things that to us believers believe that these things can only happen uh, under the grace of God. You introduced to us uh, men of God like uh, uh, Emmanuel Makandewa, the great man of God who is doing great works, Prophet Rupert Angel, Pastor Chris, Oyedebo, and very many other ministers of the gospel who are doing great work of the kingdom of God. And uh, without also forgetting that you introduced to us the great man of God, uh, T.P. Joshua, who, while he was in the body, did great work. And uh, thousands of believers were uh, convinced that really this is the doing of the Lord. And uh, when you introduced to us this man of God, we believed strongly in the works that they are doing. And now recently we saw a documentary trying to show a number of issues concerning the great man of God who we held so highly in the kingdom of God. And uh, when you introduced to us this man of God, you showed to us the works of God, the great miracles that are happening. And uh, currently you are doing the same and by the special grace of God upon your life, the exact miracles that were happening then are now happening in our church. And uh, considering the documentary that is going around the social media, what exactly is your take about this man of God, D.B. Joshua, that now the social media is trying to bring up negatively? I have seen the documentary. I have watched it. A millions of people <clears throat> around the group have watched it. But before we, we answer the question whether uh, T.B. Joshua is a true man of God or an evil man, the question we need to ask ourselves first, who assigned the BBC to come up with that documentary? In whose interest is BBC working? Are they working as the agents of the kingdom of God? Or they are working as the agents of the kingdom of darkness? Mm -hmm. Who are they purporting to promote? Uh -huh. If truly they are in for this assignment, has it been given to them by God? All this could be the beginning of persecution that the Lord told us last year. Uh -huh. That there will be persecution of the church. Mm -hmm. Can we really say that the PBC got a revelation from God? Uh -huh. That they are now surprising us that T.B. Joshua was an evil man? Mm -hmm. Whose evidence can we rely on? The thousands of people seated in the synagogue church of all nations currently mm -hmm. or the few individuals whose interest is unknown uh -huh. allow me say this if truly bbc was addressing this issue on behalf of the kingdom of god they could have known galatians chapter 6 verse 1 that if any one of us is caught in a sin those of us who have the spirit underline the word who have the, the spirit. spirit. Uh -huh. Now let's assume T.B. Joshua did not have the spirit. Does BBC have the spirit? <laughs> <laughs> Between T.B. Joshua and BBC, who do you think has the spirit of God? Uh -huh. Is there any evidence from the so-called media, BBC, mm -hmm. that can show you expressly that they belong to Jesus? Mm -hmm. I remember the words of Jesus in John chapter 14 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. He said this. He says, if you cannot believe that I am from the Father, at least believe in the evidence of the miracles themselves. Uh -huh. Is BBC from the Father? Or is T.B. Joshua from the Father? Who of the two has any evidence of miracles mm -hmm. that we need to believe in? So that we know who is from the Father. Mm -hmm. 
Is PPC an agent of persecution or a tool of revelation? I have been surprised personally uh -huh. when I have seen even men of God and pastors trying to take the evidence of BBC as truth instead of relying on the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. You see, those who are claiming to know the negative part of T.B. Joshua, mm -hmm. they argue that they lived with him. Now, the difference between them and us, because I told you about T.B. Joshua at the beginning of this ministry, yes. the difference between them and us is that they say they lived with him. But with us, he lived with us. Uh -huh. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul used to tell people, I may not be there physically with you, mm -hmm. but I will be there in spirit. Uh -huh. You may not be together with the man physically, sure. but you can be together with the man spiritually. Mm -hmm. The spirit of T.B. Joshua and the level of grace that God gave him cannot be underrated. It can attract the attention of the devil. Uh -huh. It can attract the attention of the devil. Mm -hmm. The reality is, yes. to be Joshua, some people say he was a man of God. Uh -huh. But what I am saying, he lives beyond his earthly legacy. Uh -huh. And you know, surprisingly, yes. this is the first major documentary that has been done by BBC featuring a man of God. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That shows you how great he was. Mm -hmm. There are people who thought, that the synagogue church of all nations could die with the dying of T.B. Joshua. Uh -huh. They have waited for his collapse. And they have been surprised that it is even growing bigger. Sure. And therefore they must come up with propaganda to try and bring it down. Uh -huh. But evidence has shown and has taught us over time that if you are dealing with a man of God, when you try to kill him, he resurrects even more. Mm -hmm. Jesus was killed. And out of his dying, Christianity grew. Yes. And it even became more popular. Uh -huh. sure. Therefore, I am persuaded personally that D.B. Joshua was a man of God. Uh -huh. And he is one of the best examples of our times. Uh -huh. Yes. Thank you, man of God. And uh, can we really say that uh, if he was used of God, can the devil be used or use some people to heal other people? Thank you, Pastor. Allow me not to be an advocate of the devil. I don't know how much he does. <laughs> All my life, I surrendered to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And he has never misled me. Mm -hmm. Whenever he leads me, if it is a man of God, I believe, you know, the Bible is clear. Yes. You shall know them by their yeah. fruits. Fruit. Sure. The evidence of the miracles of T.B. Joshua was not my only conviction. Uh -huh. It is the spirit in me. Uh -huh. You know, the Bible says in Romans 8, 14. Yes. Those who are led by the Spirit, Spirit. Mm -hmm. they are the true sons, sons, of, sons God. of God. I am not just a follower of the miracles. Uh -huh. I, of course, I'm convicted yes. that miracles are a proof and a sign of your relationship with God. Amen. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12, it says, and the true marks of an apostle were performed among us too with great perseverance. And they are signs, wonders, and miracles. You know, one time, maybe I can allow you to read one scripture. Yes. I, I could wish that you read the book of Mark chapter 9. Yes. Verse 38 and that 9 to my viewer. Amen. It will be important for our communication. I'm, I'm reading the book of Mark. Chapter 9 and verse 38 and that 9. And this is what the Bible says. 
Teacher, said John, we saw a man driving out the demons in your name, and we told him to stop because he was not one of us. Verse 9, do not stop him, Jesus said. No one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me. Oh my God. Every single miracle that Prophet T.B. Joshua did, uh -huh. and every single miracle that is happening, I have not been there personally. Uh -huh. I have not received any miracle from him. Uh -huh. But I know those miracles are from God. Others have had an opportunity to be there. Yes. Present. Mm -hmm. The wise men. Mm -hmm. The evangelists. Mm -hmm. The disciples. Mm -hmm. And the members of the congregation. Yes. But those of us who have never had an opportunity, we rely on the spirit. Uh -huh. We don't have to be there. For me, I don't have to come to your church to know that you are a true man of God. Uh -huh. Distance is not a barrier My God. in believing. Mm. I don't have to greet Paul physically to know that he was an <laughs> apostle. Peter to know that he was an apostle. Yes. People believed they were not apostles, especially those who were there presently. Yes. But what is it to our case? We believe. Jesus said, blessed is he that can believe without seeing. Uh -huh. I know thousands of men of God all over the universe. Yes. But when God called me, he told me to read the books of Bishop Oyedebo. Uh -huh. To watch the miracles of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Uh -huh. To listen to the prophecies of Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. Yes. He gave me a number of people. Yes. And to watch the healings mm -hmm. of Pastor Chris Oyakirome. Yes. I've done that. And uh, that is what made me to drop from my assignment as a university lecturer. Uh -huh. Because I could see more sense in what they were doing than what I was doing. Uh -huh. And that therefore, I watch TB Joshua. In those days, I never had my own television. Mm -hmm. I could go to a friend's house, <laughs> make a request, and I watch him the entire night until the morning because I was a scholar. Uh -huh. And I wanted to understand yes. whether what he did was in line with the scripture. Mm -hmm. But by the power of revelation, I got to know the man of God, senior prophet T.B. Joshua. Amen. And today, my conviction is that the legacy of D.B. Joshua continues in several people. Uh -huh. Several people. Mm -hmm. You may try to underrate him, to castigate him. You are free. Uh -huh. You are free. But the reality remains mm -hmm. that no one can stop God and no one can stop God's agenda. Amen. Man of God, thank you for what you're explaining concerning T.B. Joshua. We've heard a lot about him through you, and we've come to embrace what he does and what he used to do at uh, synagogue. Now that T.B. Joshua is not in the body any longer, what kind of defense can you give on his behalf now that he's not in the body, but there are people are listening to us, there are viewers who are watching us. What can you give in his defense? Men of God are never defended. Eh? Their works defend them. We may think the devil is succeeding. Mm -hmm. But God has succeeded. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. To be Joshua, even if he was alive, I am sure he could not defend himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Neither could he even respond. Even where he is, he could be surprised we are responding. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't respond. The works he did is the evidence mm -hmm. of his genuinity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The lifestyle he lived and the legacy he left has been preceded by Mama Everine T.B. Joshua. Uh -huh. sure. The evidence of T.B. Joshua mm -hmm. is the synagogue 
Church of All Nations, uh -huh. which is currently seated in Lagos, Nigeria. Yes. Mm -hmm. And which is also all over the world, represented by the wise men. Mm -hmm. And many other people that believe that were given the revelation that was given to that man of God. Mm -hmm. If God cannot defend T.B. Joshua mm -hmm. or any one of us, uh -huh. no human power or effort mm -hmm. can succeed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 20 says that believe in your God that you shall, you shall be established. Believe also in his prophets that you may prosper. We have an understanding that we are to understand, we are to believe in the man of God that God has put in our, in our, in our churches who are helping us to understand more about God. And uh, after uh, these things coming up, Truth be told that the church and the body of Christ can shake out of these things that are coming up. Mm -hmm. What exactly is the position of the body of Christ now that these things are coming up? What, is, what should believers do when they are hearing these things coming up that are meant to persecute the men that they believe in? Jesus said, I will build my church uh -huh. and the gates of hell my shall not prevail Amen. upon it. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no amount of intimidation yes. from the media mm -hmm. or no amount of persecution mm -hmm. that can stop the working of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. If it was to stop, by now Christianity could have ended because we have had persecution, martyrs, people have been murdered, even in Uganda, whatever uh -huh. in country. Uh -huh. I mean, a lot of evil has been spoken. Uh -huh. But those things were meant to happen, to stir up uh -huh. the advancement of the, the gospel. Uh -huh. The Bible teaches that as the disciples were persecuted, the number of disciples increased in the more. My goodness. So what BBC has done is to give God a platform Amen. to increase the number of disciples for the kingdom. Amen. I think the devil makes plunders and he errors a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but for the believers, My you can read for them the book of Luke chapter 6. Amen. And verse 37. Yes. The book of Luke chapter 6. Chapter 6 and verse 37. Verse 37. Uh, this is what the Bible says. The book of J Luke chapter 6 verse 37. This is what the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 37. Do not judge and you will not be charged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. That's all. My God. Our duty, if any one of us makes a mistake, mm -hmm. we have a duty to forgive. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But in this case, we have to forgive BBC. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> they have no idea what they are doing. <laughs> We have to forgive them. Mm -hmm. They are out to do something that they don't know. Uh -huh. You know, one of the reasons why Jesus said, forgive them, for they do not know. Mm. Any person that walks in ignorance uh -huh. must attract our forgiveness. Mm -hmm. They're walking in ignorance. We forgive them. Uh -huh. You know, the Apostle Paul says this, if the Jews and the Romans knew yes. that crucifying Jesus was going to save the world. Uh -huh. They couldn't have attempted it. Uh -huh. sure. What BBC has done is not within their knowledge. Uh -huh. It is within our knowledge. Amen. Those of us who believe this persecution is our power. Uh -huh. It's our will. Amen. Uh -huh. We triumph the more. Uh -huh. We become popular the more. Uh -huh. And as we become popular, we make Christ popular. Uh -huh. And when you make Christ popular, it makes you popular. It says, when you speak of me before the man, I will speak of you before my father. My God. As we speak, so many of us are now popular in heaven. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Then, uh, based on what you've just spoken, do you think we should uh, just give BBC a platform to continue doing what they are doing now? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, because BBC, I think at the moment, they might not have more 
stories to tell. We, we employ them to, we request them to dig deeper into many more men of God. Because then it has become a platform that Christ will use mm -hmm. to advance his cause. Mm -hmm. BBC over the years has been giving us bogus news. I think this is the first time I'm getting something good from BBC, <laughs> that they are promoting Christ for the first time in history. Amen. <laughs> there, is a, there is now the, the, the believers in synagogue. What direction can you give them as we speak now? The believers. The believers in the synagogue church of all nations and Mama Ivorini, Joshua, we wish you well. Amen. Christ has taken over the synagogue. He's promoting you through his own avenues. Amen. All I can encourage you is that stand firm and be calm and be strong and move on. It's your time to move on even to the headquarters of BBC in London and establish an embassy for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you, man of God, for shedding and giving us this light. No, I'm, I'm surprised by uh, the responses you are giving because to many of us, we, we had started really abusing PPC and, uh, and uh, really saying a lot of things about it. But I'm surprised that uh, ignorantly they are being used of God to promote what God, was, uh, is, is, uh, what God did through TP Joshua. And uh, man of God, through you, God is doing great miracles. And uh, we are seeing people getting healed. We are seeing uh, the poor being elevated. And uh, my interest is now on the men of God, because uh, out of the, this issue that has come up on the social media, we have seen various reactions from the men of God. And uh, some of them are beginning to explain uh, a lot of things concerning this issue of this P. Joshua. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm persuaded to ask this question, like, uh, because some of them we are, seeing, we are seeing men of God using the PPC news and documentary concerning T.B. Joshua, to now, again, pack it up. What message do you have to the men of God? Because I'm persuaded to understand which, which source should we rely on as believers to get information about the true men of God who are serving God? We, we don't quote newspapers. Uh -huh. We don't quote the media. Mm -hmm. We quote God. Amen. <laughs> Those were the words of T.B. Joshua. Uh -huh. If God does not speak to you, the media will. If you don't hear God, uh -huh. the magazine will. Mm -hmm. You will quote men. You will rely on men. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said in Matthew 22, verse 29, Yes. You are in error because you don't know the scriptures mm -hmm. nor mm -hmm. the power of God. Uh -huh. If you knew the power of God, you could know who these men of God are. There are men of God who are limited of knowledge. They believe that God only speaks to them mm -hmm. alone mm -hmm. and through them. But Lord, gone are the days when God saved the world through a man. Uh -huh. Currently, God is doing his best through Man. Amen. And not only limited to us, the ministers, mm -hmm. even the church members. The Bible says he has deposited something in everybody mm -hmm. for the good work of the kingdom. Amen. And, and, and therefore, we cannot judge anybody. It is not within our mandate. Mm -hmm. But all we know is that the scripture is always correct. Amen. And it's the standard for our living. Mm -hmm. We must use and make use of the scripture as a standard for our life. Amen. Amen. Now, based on what we've had this day, I think um, I've also seen something different. Like, um, if anything comes your way, don't look at the face value. Look at what it carries. Because based on what BBC was giving out, we have been able as believers to know that there is more than what it meets the eye. There is more than what they are saying. 
So I have come to understand that uh, whatever that comes our way as believers, let's not look at what has come. Let's look at what it carries. That is all I can say for today. If something comes your way, don't let it drive you away. Let it show you the way. That's what I believe. It, whether a trial or a persecution, it is intended to show you the way. Mm -hmm. You must be able to use it to get to your next destination. Thank you very much, man of God. And uh, I, I thank God for you and for your presence, especially a time like this, when the body of Christ and the church and the believers are introduced to a lot of shakeups by the social media and so many other things that the devil may use. And um, I'm persuaded to also ask this question because listening to many other people who are uh, interested in this story of David Joshua, Many are saying that uh, there is a way uh, the Westerns is trying to attack Africa in terms of the gospel. And uh, truth be told, there are so many other questions that uh, many people are now asking. Because uh, for people to have come with this documentary, many people, many believers have in their mind that they are now attacking the, the ministers who are rising up for Christ in Africa. And uh, considering how the gospel moved and entered into Africa and now how God is using the men of God in Africa, in your capacity, do you think it is true that the Westerns are attack, attacking men of God who are rising up for Christ in Africa? Uh, BBC, BBC is not Western. Uh -huh. It's just... Uh... A media station like any other media station. Okay. There are many people in the West that believe in Prophet TB Joshua in Brazil and many other countries. But uh, all I can tell you yes. is that uh, we must never forget the contribution of Judas Iscariot <laughs> in the crucifixion of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He is a very important character that in his absence a lot could have not taken place in time. Uh -huh. Therefore, those who are trying to persecute, they are doing their part in propagating and promoting the gospel. Uh -huh. As I said earlier, nobody can stop the gospel, not in the Western, not in Africa. Uh -huh. Nowhere. And nobody was given that capacity. Mm -hmm. Even the devil knows he cannot stop it. Uh -huh. The gospel can never be stopped. Even falsehood cannot stop the gospel. Mm -hmm. Even if there were fake miracles and fake men of God, uh -huh. they cannot stop the gospel. Mm -hmm. For the gospel is God's power mm -hmm. and to salvation. Amen. So, um, PBC is not attacking Africa. Uh -huh. The truth is, the working of miracles and the power around Africa is higher and has more evidence uh -huh. than elsewhere. Uh -huh. And Africans are going everywhere to exercise and demonstrate the power of God uh -huh. in the UK and any other place. Yes. But since the attack cannot succeed, mm -hmm. we don't need to dwell on it. Mm -hmm. Let us look at the positive contribution of Judas yes. in the working of the cross. Uh -huh. We should never confuse what the devil did and what God was doing. Uh -huh. In everything the devil is trying to do, mm -hmm. God has something is producing. Uh -huh. That's all I can say. Amen. Amen. Amen.